Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on all and any functions. We'll see how to use all and any functions in this lecture. So this functions return true if all the values are true. That's for the all function and it returns true. It returns false if the values are not true. So if we use all, this will be true if all the values are true. Whereas in case of the any function, it will return true if one value is true. Let's see some examples. Let's say we have a list object, list one containing elements Let's say the value is false, true, false, and false. So if we call the all function on our list one object, if we say all and then pass list one, this will give us false because not all values in our list are true. So that will be false. Whereas if we call the any function and then pass our list one object, we'll get true because at least one value in our list is true. True. So the only way we'll get true for the function all is if all the values are true. For instance, can say all and then pass a list containing values true, true, and true. All on this list will give us true. All right, let's see another example. We can also use this all and any functions on strings. Let's say we have the string programming. So we can check if a certain alphabet exists in our string programming by using the all and any function. For instance, we can say, so any, then we'll see if some Character, let's start with alphabets that are in our string. For instance, P. We can say P. So what we'll do is we'll check if P is in our string programming. So we can say X double equal. So we'll, since we'll be comparing and X will be an element in our string. So we'll use a for loop to check each element in our string. So we can say any x double equal p. So we're checking for p, right? Then for x in programming. So in this case, we'll get true. <coughs> That's because p exists in our string. So x double equal to p. Since we are comparing these two values for x in programming. So this for loop will check if each of the elements or alphabets in our string is equal to p. Similarly, if we say any x is equal to, let's say, a exists in our string also for x in programming that will also be true if we run it we get true we can also save this in some variable let's say string one is equal to programming and instead of x in programming we can also say for x in our string object right whereas if we don't 
have that alphabet in our string the result will be false for instance if we check for s we don't have s in programming so this will result in false so we have false okay and if we save this variable in a string object we can say let me paste it to save some time and then you can say for x in string one right if we run it we get true if i change this to let's say s that would be false so this is the any function with all function we get false if we try any of these up the scenarios will get false that's because not every element in x is a so if we run this we get false whereas if we try let's see all and if i change this to a string containing a bunch of s so if we try a bunch of s this will be true since all of our characters in our string are a so that will be true we can also use a generator expression to get this result right for instance we can say so if i copy this x is equal to a for x that will equal to a for x in programming I can save this in some variable let's say generator or simply gener gen for generator is equal to x is equal to a for x in programming so this is a simple generator expression remember generator is similar to list comprehension except it's enclosed in parentheses, not rectangular brackets. So once we do that, what we can do is, if we call our gen object, we see that it's a generator object, right? And we can call the next function on this generator object to print the results one by one. So we can say, generator object and then call the next function so the first result is false since so what this will do is it will check if the in if it will check it if the elements in our string contains the alphabet a so it will check it will do that one by one one by one so false it will the result will be false for the first uh, four alphabets right so false 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 and then we'll get true so if we call if you keep calling the next function the next four times it will be false let me copy this run it false run it again we'll get false run it again we get false i think now the result will be true that's true so right now we are here it found 1a so the result is true and then any subsequent next calls will be false until we finally get a stop iteration error that means we have in the, the next call next next and i think we'll get a stop iteration error now maybe next one so when we have gone through each of the elements we get the stop iteration error okay so this is like using the any function but it gives you the individual result for each of the alphabets 
and if we pass if we do the same thing for this generator expression we'll get true for each of the calls if we say x is equal to a for x in a and if we call this in another variable called generator one and if we call our generator one object we see that it's a generator object and then if you call the next function on this generator object will get true so next that will be true so it will give us true for the entire length and finally we get the stop iteration error i just wanted to quickly show you this generator expression see how it's similar to giving us the result by going through each of the elements great so just to summarize when we are using the all function it will return true if all the elements are true whereas the any function will give us true if one of the elements is true great thank you everyone